What is going on, Extreme Gang? It is Extreme Card Breaks here. I kind of put this off since last weekend doing this video, uh, all because the store came up like out of nowhere, which I was thinking was going to take a lot longer. But I want to talk about some. All of us use eBay. eBay, on average, is like a 10% charge for everything you sell, plus your PayPal on top of it. Well, a gentleman who's very well into the hobby took some time and made his own site up where you can make an account. He verifies you. Um, there, there's a lot to it, but it's called myslabs.com. Currently, you can only put sl like slab cards, basically your BGS and your PSA onto it. And he's allowing unopened wax sealed. So like this year's Optic or full cases on there. And some of this stuff is going really, really good on there. I talked to him today for a little bit while I was at work, and um, we're going to put the two boxes of uh, Optic uh, Basketball on tomorrow night once I get them in, and we're talking lower and blowout. So he's going to push, you know, with all social media, those are posted on there, which is really good. So if you're trying to get, like, over what stuff's selling for or, you know, you're trying to, Boot, like buy up everything just to push the market up. It's really not going to work like it would on eBay. Um, you can still make best offers on here and everything, but I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial. So this is myslabs.com. Over here, where you see the extreme car breaks, that's my account. You can sign up for an account there to buy. Then if you want to sell, you got to fill out all kinds of stuff onto it, which is normal. You got the home page, which will pull right up. These are cards that are just being added. This could be personal collections. So if you don't see prices on down here, it's just people adding this stuff to their own personal collection. Almost like we used, I can't remember what that website was. It was like a photo thing a long time ago where we used to put all your cards on there and be like, hey, check my bucket. We'll make a trade type deal. If you go over one you got for sale, and these are the latest cards that are for sale, and it just scrolls the whole way through. So you guys can just take a look. I mean, there's some great stuff on here, great prices. If you see this little red ticking timer clock thing here, it means that guy has some offer onto it. There's another one right here. This Marte has an offer onto it. So you can kind of see, oh, man, people are actually putting offers in on this stuff. So that's everything for sale. Now, if you want to search for something, you can. So we'll just go with TJ Watt. Or J.J. Watt came up. So that's the only J.J. Watt in there. It's already been sold, as you can see down here. If you want to check items that are sold, you can just go to archives here. And it'll show you. Look, uh, somebody bought that Giannis there for $19.50. There, there's been a lot on here. It's been sold. Now, here's the thing. If you're a seller, you're only paying him 1%. Yes, 1%. Not the eBay 10 or 9% if you have all their crazy ratings and stuff, and you're one of their big uh, sellers and everything. 1%. That's all he's charging onto this. So this is really what the hobby should be about here to where you're getting your max dollars for what you got out there. So check this out. I mean, it's a really good site. I wanted to do a video on it just so people could see. And, I mean, you go onto your own slabs here. This would be, if I had any alerts, like um, best offers would be there. History, if anybody bought anything. I only have a few things up. This is all I have up. Five things. I've had a couple offers on stuff, just nothing I'm really interested in. Or, you know, trying to flip real quick, sell real quick. So you, you do have your own little thing. He said he's going to come up with a thing now up on top here for wax. So that way you can start searching wax as well from talking to him today. And I think this is a really a great site. You can see down here, apply to sell. Uh, you can contact him. They have Instagram. He's always posting stuff for on Instagram uh, and his Facebook group as well, too, to show you the new stuff out there. Are you looking for this hot player? Because that's all you got to do if you go for sale. You can type in anything you want up here, and all the player cards will show up. Now, you don't need to search, search by, like, Boba Shit. You can put, I want to see all 2016 Bowman Draft, and it'll come up. So don't limit the search just to be by player only. You can do any, it's up to the person making it what they put into it. So most people have been putting stuff in here as they would on eBay. 
Also, make sure when you click onto the picture, I know this doesn't have one, but as you can see, this is what they have here. It, it'll say if the case is cracked and all that stuff there. One other key point to this is, so where all of these people are going back and um, asking for refunds because, oh man, Lamar Jackson, he didn't win a Super Bowl. And we're all the chargebacks. You can't do it. You sign the agreement here onto the website, which has also been approved from my understanding through PayPal as well. You could only do returns. Like if it showed up and this case is completely cracked in half, the wrong card got sent to you. But he wants you to work with the seller first. So, But if there's anything wrong with the case itself, a nick, a, cr a scratch or anything, they're supposed to write it up here. He's just put this out, I think, within the last week. It'll, it'll catch on here very quickly. So the end statement is, guys, check out this site. Forget eBay. They're making you force you using their process and the payments and everything. I'm, I'm really against it. I mean, we're giving them 10% of, of a card. So say I sold, oh, I don't have it on the screen. If I sold this Bo Bichette for $450, eBay's getting $45. My slabs, they're getting four dollars and fifty cents, and it's just because he has to pay for what he's put into the site. I got it. I think this is a great site. Like I said, check it out. It's growing immensely now. So if you could get a seller account, this is where you want to go to sell those slabs at. People are always eyeballing stuff on here, set finders, and like I said, when you go to archive, you can check everything that's sold. And when you start scrolling through here, I mean, boxes of sapphire sold three hundred dollars, and you start looking like, wow, these are some really good prices that I would pay. And the sellers, more than likely, a lot of them are knocking a couple bucks off from what eBay is because they know they, you know, they're only collecting a percent here. They want to sell, they want to push product out, and that's what you want. All right, extreme gang, that is it for me. Tomorrow we got some packages coming in. Um, we will open the, oh, I just forgot the year. I think it's 1617. It is 1617 Mosaic Prism boxes. We're looking for a Ben Simmons rookie. I know it's not the most expensive thing unless you get one of the big old refractors out of it. There weren't that many autographs per case. I think like three or four. We Maybe we get an autograph, maybe not. But I like the product Mosaic because here's the thing. Prism skyrocket. I told y'all about Optic. It was going to happen. So hopefully you guys hoarded Optic from a while back because now it's just going up so much in price. Mosaic and Select, I think, are going to be your next two that are going to start picking up steam, if not this year, next year, because people are going back to the regular rookies. It's not all about finding the autographs. The regular rookies are picking up steam again. All right, as always, thank you, everybody. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Make some comments down below if you guys have questions. And if I can answer them, I will. If not, I'll just direct you to, you know, hit the uh, owner up because he's doing everything. Checking backgrounds on people and making sure we're good on everything for both sellers and buyers, which I do appreciate. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow night with another video. Have a good, safe Friday. Hopefully you guys are still in some optic out there, opening up, breaks, whatever you're in, and pulling them big ones. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good night.